Before I talk about receptive field, I'm going to orient you to the diagram. Here's a cross section of half the spinal cord with the primary afferent labeled and the second order or dorsal horn neuron labeled. For the purpose today, I'm going to picture the primary afferent in a little more detail as well as the second order neuron pictured here in more detail. As you know, the primary afferent is a pseudounipolar neuron with the central process synapsing in the dorsal horn on second order neurons and the peripheral process ending in receptors. Receptive field can be hard to grasp, but here's a diagram to show a primary afferent and the tissue from which it receives sensory information is considered the receptive field of that primary afferent. Now let's draw a second primary afferent and its receptive field and a third primary afferent and its receptive field. Now the numbers here are arbitrary, but let's have those three uh, primary afferents synapsing on a dorsal horn neuron, a second order neuron. Now the receptive field of that second order neuron will be the sum of the receptive fields of the three neurons it pictured here that synapse on that dorsal horn neuron. So that is the receptive field of the second order neuron.